Hello, welcome to today's video and I'm coming back to you with another free patterns video because I love making these, to be honest, they're super fun, I love looking at patterns. And this one is another one for falls, autumn, depending where you are in the northern hemisphere. And it is, we're giving you cosy comfort vibes, right? Because we woke up to like two degrees centigrade this morning and frozen cars, so it is for a reason we've had to put the fire on and i think we're gonna have to i know we're gonna have to put the heating on it's gotten to the point where the house is getting a wee bit chilly i have two pairs of socks on and my feet are still cold and i have also drank my body weight in tea this morning so i've been looking at some cozy patterns and honestly i'm never going to get around to making all these because one i can't afford it two i don't have the space and three i don't i don't I don't need all these beautiful cozy clothes. I want them, I want them. A little bit of a different feel today because I'm gonna just throw in some fabric, fabric recommendations as well. These are from Pound Fabrics, the UK website, and I like their website because the cost of the fabric is quite, um, it's quite a nice price. The website I find really easy to use. I try looking at Minerva, but honestly i don't think it's the most user-friendly website we're gonna kick it off with mood society and this is the clark coat and it is made from a beautiful boiled wool and i love the orange the yellow the mustard that the model is wearing and for mood all their sizes come in pretty much size zero to size 30 which takes you from a bust of 50 inches to 75.25 this gorgeous coat has stylish sleeves and is perfect for fall weather and will instantly your new favourite coat of the season. Now the sleeves are quite cool, they've got like the, the bell sleeves, the poofy sleeves and what I like about this is because it looks so oversized, it looks like it will fit over your chunkiest cardigan. So I have this cardigan, I made it, it's a hexagon cardigan and this is just made from acrylic so I did put it through the wash machine and the dryer so it's a little bit more baggy now and my problem is other than the fact that it's crocheted and got millions of holes in it is I can't none of my jackets fit over it and it's really annoying because I don't I don't want to just be like oh this is just a house cardigan because I can't wear it outside because I freeze and none of my jackets fit so I saw this pattern and I was like ooh that looks like I'd be able to get my my cardigan in that so that is pattern number one and we're going for some beautiful boiled wool which you ain't ever going to find this cheap anywhere it's super expensive and pound fabrics have got it at 22 pounds a meter and i quite like the camel color because it's i know it's a bit basic it's a bit neutral um but hear me out it will go with everything it's such a neutral color that you can wear it from autumn all the way through spring and it will go with like most of your wardrobe and this camel color looks like it's like just dark enough that it's, you can't really call it like a beige so i really like that one i also really like the red one as well but i've read i think it's a bit more niche doesn't really fit in as well it's more like giving me christmas feels christmas vibes so yeah that's the bald wool i would love to make that jacket in and the next pan we have from Mood as well. And this is just, you're going to see these types of patterns recommended all over the internet from now until Christmas. It's the Comfy Sleepwear. And this one's called the Hickory Ensemble. And they recommend using an ultra soft rayon jersey. And I'm not a person who believes you need new pyjamas every year. I pretty much wear my Christmas pyjamas all year round. Apart from when it's like super, super hot because they're really comfy. You know, and I, we don't generally make new Christmas pajamas every year. Um, now these go from a size two up to a size thirty, and they have pockets as well, which I really love. What I would make these out of is a sweatshirt fabric, and I would make them like a little bit bigger, like a little bit oversized, um, just to compensate for like the lack of maybe stretch you're going to get in sweatshirt fabric and these I think a sweatshirt fabric you think that's a bit much for for bed like a cozy pajama set 
But you can then, if you want, wear the top as like a thin sweatshirt during the day. It doesn't have to always be pajamas. And I think wearing the like you come in like on a weekend or you're not working and it's the afternoon, you know you're not leaving the house again and you've turned the heating on or you've got the fire on or whatever and you just want to put on a super cozy pyjama set but you don't really want to go into bed in the pyjamas because then you've been in them way too long so I think this sweatshirt material is absolutely beautiful for it and I love the emerald green I just think it's really bright and vibrant and you could also do like mix and match you've got like green on top, red on bottom but that's a wee bit too festive I think also really like the pink as well because it's feminine and it's cute my next fabric would be this ballerinas and swans organic sweatshirt fabric now this is seven pound fifty meter and you have mustard or the the rust berry the rust berry definitely gives you a bit more christmas vibes and the mustard definitely feels a lot more autumnal and i've never I've never been into ballerinas or ballet but it just looks like such whimsical fabric that you would put this on as like your your loungewear and just feel like I don't know I just think this would make me feel a bit more fun and uplifted and especially because the nights are drawing in and it's cold and you're starting to your vitamin d levels are starting to drop I think putting on this outfit would just make you feel just a little bit more fun the third pattern again is from mood I swear I do have some other pants from Mood, it's just the way I've organised my tabs. And it is the Noel Sweater Collection. Now, I don't think I've ever recommended this pattern. I don't think I've really... I've always skipped over it. Um, and I think it's a testament to just how bloody cold it is in the house. To tell you that I've looked at this and gone, yeah, really would like some, some jumpers. So, it's that time of year again when autumn mornings turn into warm afternoons requiring us to dress for a few different seasons in a single day. Yes, I feel that in my soul. The other day we went out, freezing cold, got to the park, really warm. Thankfully, our Noel sweater collection free sewing pattern bundle is here to keep you warm this fall with three different patterns to choose from, sewn in their Alter Chunky Rib Knit collection. Now... They have, their fabric is like a really heavy fabric and it's given them like a really lovely drape. Now, honestly, I quite like the one with the triangle. I think that look, does look really um, fun and I think will give you quite a nice silhouette. And I think it hides your belly quite well if you do want to hide your belly. I like the big turtlenecks, like, I love that. But... Honestly, I would go, like, the green one is just giving me, like, autumn forest. Like, you've got really thick, warm leggings on as well. Um, or even jeans. Because the triangle one's giving me a bit more, like, poncho vibes. It feels a bit more, like, less like a jumper, a bit more of a poncho. Which, again, if you, I think if you made that a wee bit longer, that would be a perfect. Because I think my issue with ponchos and capes in general is, like... I like having something on my arms because then once you stick your hands out, you get really cold arms. So then you're like, oh, well, like I'm pushing the buggy to walk the dog and the child every day. And that's what puts me off sort of wearing my capes is even if I've got a jumper on, I still, I don't want cold arms. So again, this comes in a size double zero to a size 32. And fabric, I've gone for this thick sweater knit fabric is £12.50 a meter and I love all the colors I definitely love mustard but I think I'm possibly getting a little bit too much mustard in my wardrobe at the moment um I kind of just go for one color and go yep I like it I'll make it so I think I have enough mustard I have a mustard top I've got a massive mustard scarf shawl thing that I made when I was pregnant I also have a matching hat and a matching cowl as well so it's a, I have enough mustard so the light burgundy I think really nice warm tones would be really good for this or the burnt orange because you can't go wrong with burnt orange in autumn unless you live somewhere with no trees and you don't really see that change in seasons um, as much I also really like the sage green but I think it's possibly a bit too light of a colour 
for me personally. So I really like that. And the beauty with pan fabrics is people are really good at actually just putting on um, pictures when they've made something out of their fabric. So you get to see, so you get to see the fabric as a garment. So even here, you've got someone who's made a cow neck jumper and it looks, it looks really good. The next fabric, which I think this fabric would be perfect also for leggings. And I think you'd look a little bit ridiculous, but also the coziest, comfy person in the world. So if you've got a free legging pattern, I would definitely recommend going and getting some cable knit jersey fabric. And they have so many colors and I am here for it. I like the brown, I think, this is brown and you know i don't hate it i always thought brown was a bit boring you know i've got brown hair brown eyes so oh maybe it's just a it's a bit boring but i do keep coming back to my patina blouse so i thought maybe the brown a really thick brown sweatshirt would look absolutely lovely and again people have put up reviews of what they've made but i do i love the teal like the loungewear set in this cable knit fabric i think would be amazing and you would just look so cozy i can imagine this maybe in like maybe the black or the cream or like the dark green oh the dark green is lovely wearing that with like your boots and um an oversized jumper in like a nice uh, sort of matching color not matching but like contrasting so like maybe the the dark gray on top with the dark green and bottom so you've still got like the cable knit thing running through and then putting on like a nice oversized poncho and you'll be so cozy when you go out for your walk like especially if it's not raining you don't need to worry so much about having a waterproof jacket you'd just be so cozy and i think you'd look really really cool as well oh i think i just talked myself into buying some of this fabric usually what would put me off this fabric is that it's 81 percent polyester 16 percent round and 3% elastane. So I'm like, I've been trying to get away from polyester in my wardrobe and plastics basically. Um, but I did buy a knit jersey fabric for a top, which I'll talk about at the end of the month. And oh, it's just really soft and comfy. Yeah, price versus comfort versus versatility and usability. Next up on our cozy patterns is the asymmetrical poncho. This is by Scattered thoughts of a crafty mum. Um, love the blog name. Really fun. I feel that actually <laughs> that encapsulates my personality quite well. And it is a free pattern, obviously, and it's got sizes small, medium and large, extra large. And to be honest, I don't really think you need a pattern for this. Um, but it's more like the instructions if you're a beginner and to help you make this and i love the length of this um i think the lady looks really um really casual i like the way she staged her pictures and i don't think you can go wrong with an oversized poncho to be honest just because it's cozy it's comfy and something you can just throw on like if you're just popping out to the shop so you don't want to like if you're a full-on boiled wool jacket or like if it is a little bit warmer in the afternoon and you know you've started off a bit colder now it's a bit warmer and i just think they're really um they're really cool to be honest i just think they look really quite fashionable and for this one we're going with a plain french terry fabric and we'll go we're going straight in with burnt orange i mean you can also get caramel you get bright orange the caramel brown also looks lovely the okra oh, mustard it's mustard obviously i like mustard um, but they've got like the whole rainbow on pan fabrics, to be honest. And that is 96% cotton and 4% elastane. Um, so again, it gives you a bit more of a drapey feel. It's a bit lighter of a poncho. If you want something a bit heavier, you can then go with one of maybe the cable knit fabrics. And again, loads of people have put up what they've made theirs out of. And again, it's usually like dinner tops. I don't know why I've not come across this before. This looks really good, actually. Next up, we have a pair of pants because I've only looked at the top. And this one's from Free Sewing. So this is, you enter your own measurements. You need 13 measurements. And honestly, they are just a really basic pair of trousers. And you can wear, I would, you could make these in quite a few different fabrics to give you a different look. 
And again, it's got pictures at the bottom of people who've made it and they've made it in like such a wide variety of fabrics. So it gives you lots of different feels. I would make these in a French terry to give you that bit more cozy, comfy feels. Um, but you can make them in a bit more of a sturdy fabric if it's something you want to wear um, in, other, in other circumstances in your life. But they're just, just a classic elasticated jogger um, and I like the tapered look so then you can still get them in your boots if you are going out through muddy fields. Um, because I have some trousers and they're sort of straight legged and obviously they have to go over my boots so they keep getting muddy. Um, so now I know why people keep still wearing <laughs> tapered, tapered or skinny trousers. Next up we're back with the, we're back with the jumpers, I'm sorry. And this is called the big black dress and it is basically a bat sleeve dress jumper and the model the lady looks really really comfy not gonna lie and it the blog is called needle and ted and it is a one size fits all or fits most is the caveat and what does she say about it she says it can be it can be a dress you throw on to open the door to the post and when you haven't even brushed your teeth yet or the dress that you've been drinking fine wine and chatting to creators at opening of a photography exhibition. So that's the sort of feel you get because it's just a really casual, um, really looks really comfy. And again, I think it would work really well in a heavier fabric and all the instructions are on the blog as well. So I don't know about you, but I actually do like to wear something under my jumpers. And for this day, we're going with the Tejuit free pattern and it's the Munro turtleneck pattern. It's free to download. So sizes go from double XS to double XL. The Munro turtleneck is a boxy style featuring drop shoulders, a turtleneck collar and optional three quarter or full length fitted sleeves. I definitely go with the full length fitted sleeves. I like my sleeves come right down to the ends of my wrists. It's relaxed, easy to wear. Munro is a quick sewing project and classic autumn winter wardrobe staple. And the fabrics that she recommends is stretch cotton, wool jersey, viscose jersey, and knits with elastane, lycra, or spandex content. So basically any of your stretch, your stretch fabrics. And you, again, you can make this as thin, as thick as you like. I think this would be a really good layering piece. Like if you make it in a thinner fabric, you can put on like a cami underneath. If you've got it a thicker fabric, it gives you a bit more of a jumper sweatshirt feel. But again, perfect for this transitional season that we're in. And that wraps it up. That does wrap it up for that video. I love these patterns. They look so cozy and comfy. And I, I'm going to go get some more tea because I am so cold. It is ridiculously cold in the house. The house heats up so fast in summer and then cools down super quick. So yeah, we're either roasting hot or freezing cold. There's no in between. And if you didn't see my last autumn pattern video, you can watch it here. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.